this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily do data quality checks in Excel. So we're going to use Power Query for this in three tools, column quality, column distribution and column profile and automatic data cleaning from these. So in Excel, I've got this data set. This is an e-commerce data set. I'm going to press Control and T and change this into a table. And this data set has a number of different columns. We've got an invoice number. We've got a stock code. We have a description, quantity, invoice date, unit price, customer ID and country. So a gamut of different columns to check the quality of. You want to go up into data and you want to select from table range. And this will bring you into Power Query. First thing I'm going to do quickly is multiply the unit price by the quantity to get the total sales price. So I'm just going to select those two columns, go up to standard, a new column, press multiply and then just rename this to total sales. I'm going to go up into view and this is where my column quality options are. So I'm going to pick column quality and this will give me a quick synopsis of the columns of how many errors and empty rows are in each column. So I can see in the description and I can see in the customer ID that there is empty rows in here. And I'm going to go down into the bottom left hand corner and profile the entire data set instead of the thousand rows it gives me automatically. Now, thousand rows is good for large data sets, but this is only 20,000 rows, so I can do total here. So I can see that 33% of the customer IDs are empty. I can just go in and look at the options it's given me here. I'm just going to press remove empty. So I'm removing anything that doesn't have a customer ID. This is also fixed my description column. I've got no errors in here anymore. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick column distribution. And this is a really powerful column uh, option here. Um, in invoice number, I can see that I don't have any column distribution options. And this is because I have numerics and I have text in the column. So I'm going to change that to all text. And I can see here that I do have those options. So we've got distinct and unique. So there's 827 distinct values and 120 unique. And all this means is 120, that value just belongs in the row uniquely. And then there's 827 values. I'm going to look at column profile now. And this is the main tool to look at your data. So what you want to do is just select the column and then below column statistics and value distributions will come up. So this is really, really useful. And um, you can see how many columns you have, distincts, uniques, and you can see your value distribution for categorical columns, which this is. So I can see that one of my invoice numbers has 169 lines in the data set. Looking into description, we can see the distribution of description columns. And we can see also our distinct and uniques. And a really useful functionality here is we can go in and actually replace um, the values in here. So I want to replace hand warmer Union Jack to hand warmer, and you can do this all from the drop down menu here. So very useful to go in and have a quick look at the distribution of the data and replace values here. And you can see that they've been replaced in numeric columns. You see the full numeric statistics along with a distribution here. So get to see what's most prevalent in your data set and quantity of one is most prevalent in this data set. But you can also see your min max average and your distincts again. In invoice dates, you can see the most common dates in here. I've got eight dates in the data set, and I can see the 5th of December is the most frequent. Looking at country sold to, I can see the full values and the full distribution to each country. And then again, I can go in, press these three dots and change era into Ireland and replace that. And that gets replaced in the data set. Another useful function is being able to filter based on a certain row in your distribution. So this total sale of 15, I want to press equals here and this will filter out the data set to just total sales of 15. And now I'm happy to bring this data back into Excel. So what I want to do is I want to go to home and I want to go to close and load. And this will close and load the clean data back into Excel. So I have my just my data for total sales of 15. And we can see um, Ireland in there as well. So I hope you found this useful. Follow for more.